This is 3FM. I've started to run because I believe the time is right for new uh, people with new ideas. And I've having been a commissioner for the last four years, I believe I've had the grounding now to enable me to represent the people of the area. I'm not on the doorstep, a lot of people are saying the roads need repairing. Um, I know Mr. Bell doesn't like people mentioning potholes on the national level, but they need, need fixing, so I think it's very important for the, the people in the area. Uh, but obviously we have flood issues in the south, and more importantly I think we need to attract new businesses into the south, especially in the, the Castleton and Ballasal areas, and hopefully the new enterprise zone will help that. Well obviously we have uh, difficulties in terms of uh, our budgets, uh, they've been stretched because they've lost uh, vast amounts of VAT from, from the agreement with the UK, um, obviously Brexit will have an impact on the Isle of Man, I'm not sure how yet but it will certainly affect us in some way or other, probably in terms of VAT. I think the Ireland have got to be proactive in terms of Brexit, they need to negotiate with the UK to make sure we're not forgotten about and also need to be looking elsewhere for alternatives there. Um, Ireland in particular and the Crown Dependencies and even Scotland. There are opportunities out there and even further afield like the Far East, the, the opportunities that, that can be looked into. And I, I hate the fact that they waste so much money on consultants. Um, the TT uh, World Series is, is one that sticks out. They wasted nearly a quarter of a million on it and it was a non-starter from the beginning because um, the FIM would never have sanctioned it. I've been a civil servant myself and I've seen it from the inside. There's a lot of ways. There's what what we call Mad March, uh, where the budgets are running out and it's a case of use it or lose it. So you get schemes that literally just get done for the sake of it. And I don't want to pick on Phil Gorham, but the slock is one uh, such scheme. <laughs> this is an area that uh, people have been meeting new ideas. Um, rather than having departmental budgets, have one big budget where people like the health service, the education, the police, the fire, all get budgets to make sure that they're operational. And after that, it's on a case by case basis. You'll put your ideas in at the start of the, of the budgetary process and it gets allocated on need rather than you know, on want. Unfortunately, there are issues at the hospital. Um, I've spoken to a number of nurses who say that the morale is at the very low ebb. It's mainly due to the fact that they've got patients in there that are well enough to go out of the hospital, but unfortunately, there's nowhere for them to go. I'm, I'm talking of more elderly patients because our care homes have, have been uh, closed down. We need to build more care homes, make more beds. Well, over the last 30 or 40 years, the Island Man has been very good at, at recreating itself. Um, E-gaming, aviation, shipping, um, e-commerce, space, you can go on, and even the film industry. They were all ideas that came from nothing. Um, I'm sure there are other uh, places out there we can look to uh, you know, gain money, like cruise ships, for instance. They're coming in more and more numbers now. There's got to be a way of tapping into that market. Um, the island's uh, bio, biosphere, I think, I think the correct term is, is ecotourism. So there are ways of, of uh, creating more income. In terms of the, the capital budget, there are schemes that need to be built. Like for instance, in the uh, recent budget, Castle Russian was uh, given money to be rebuilt. That needs to be done as soon as possible. By building that, you're employing uh, constructors, constructors sorry, and uh, the workforce, so they're getting paid wages. There's tax, national insurance, and they're spending it in the economy. And every pound spent in the local economy is worth one pound forty odd to the bank's economy. So the just snowballs from there. It's, it's worth doing. The current rates of the system doesn't work. It's not fair. You get some older properties are, are, are paying little or, no, or no, no rates, and others more new modern properties are paying extortionate rates. It needs to be a fair system. It needs to be based on the house size, the amenities, the number of people in it, etc. It needs to be more fair. And similarly with the public sector rents, it needs to be a, a fair system. It was supposed to be done by means testing in the last uh, administration, but one reason or it never happened. I think it will come in. I know it's not going to be popular, but I think it will come in. More music for the Isle of Man. 3FM.